My name is Jason Anderson. I'm the director of the Installer Institute in Daytona Beach, Florida. And I'd like to introduce you to a brand new product from the Access Interface line. And that is their ASWC steering wheel control interface. And there are a few things that are very unique and one of a kind about the steering wheel control. The first being that its ability to auto detect the type of vehicle that it's going into. And it can cover 75% of the vehicles that are on the market today. Now the other 25% aren't excluded because this steering wheel control interface will work with any OEM steering wheel controls. The second is the ability to only have one part number in your stock. So no longer, like some of the other manufacturers that are out there, do you need five, six, seven parts. Sometimes you even need an additional part that you need to purchase in order to get that steering wheel control interface. Access has that covered with just this one part number. Now the third is this piece's unique ability to detect not only the vehicle that it's being installed into, but also the aftermarket radio that it's being connected to. So you have one piece that will universally cover all of the vehicles that are on the market. Also, it only takes seconds for it to program. So within moments, you can have a steering wheel control that will operate your aftermarket radio very quickly and correctly. I'm sitting in a 2010 Dodge Ram pickup truck. We're going to be installing the Access ASWC steering wheel control interface along with a Pioneer radio. The steering wheel controls are located on the back side of this steering column, so when it comes time to program, one quick easy step and this thing's going to be done. I'm going to get this dash taken apart, get the radio wired up, plugged in, make sure my access interface is wired up correctly, um, and in order to help me do that, I went ahead and I printed off the text sheet off the access website underneath the steering wheel controls. So with all that information, we're ready to get this thing going. Now, we've got everything wired up, and now it's time to show you the simple and easy way to program this. Because this is a data vehicle, it's going to require me to push the volume button multiple times. So my next step, turn the ignition on, go to the volume button, press the volume button up, the access module is blinking, looking for the vehicle that it's going into and also the aftermarket radio that it's hooked up to. It's now flashing the codes that has been programmed correctly and we've got this working just fine. You can see up here in the top corner of this Pioneer unit, I'm controlling the volume by pressing it up and down. On the other side of the steering wheel, I've got seek up and seek down, along with program channels. So this module is again working perfectly. It's quick, it's easy to install, and any installer is going to find a value in this product. Now with the install complete, you can see exactly how the ASWC steering wheel control interface can be installed into any vehicle with a steering wheel control quickly, simply, and work the first time. Now, if you're running into any newer vehicles that might not be covered under the interface module, you can always log on to accessinterface.com, use their updatable USB cable, and download all of the updates for all the new vehicles that are out on the market. Now you can call your sales representative to place your order for your ASWC interface modules. And I also recommend that you pick up Metro Electronics USB updater cable. We'd like to thank you for watching this short presentation on the installation process of Metro Electronics new ASWC steering wheel control interface.